If you react an alcohol with a carboxylic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid, you'll make an ester plus water. But where does the oxygen come from in the water? Does it come from the ethanoic acid or does it come from the methanol? How could you tell? How could you label each oxygen differently and work out which one ends up in the water? Well, it turns out you can do that. You can use isotopes. Oxygen 80 and oxygen 16 have identical chemical properties. After all, they have the same number of electrons, same number of protons, but they have different masses. Just like Dr. Atkinson and his slightly heavier identical twin, identical chemical properties, different physical properties, such as mass, density, rate of diffusion. So if the left-hand mechanism is correct, then the water should be slightly heavier than if the right-hand mechanism is correct. So how could you measure the molar mass of the water? Well, you can use a mass spectrometer. And so it turns out that the water produced has a molar mass of 18 grams per mole. So that must be the oxygen with less neutrons. And that means that the oxygen uh, in the water actually comes from the carboxylic acid. The mechanism on the right is more plausible.